for many, many years, when I was in university, we were told it wasn't safe unless you were an adult, only an adult, and unless you also consumed eggs and dairy products. And, and so for, for many uh, dietitians and doctors, and especially in Europe, uh, they're probably 20 years behind where we are in North America in thinking about plant-based diets. And they, there, there are position statements in, all over Europe saying that plant-based diets are not safe and adequate, especially for growing children. So we have a position statement from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics 2016 that says that um, that vegetarian including pure vegetarian or vegan diets are safe and adequate uh, and actually may provide health benefits in disease prevention they go on to say that they are safe and adequate at every stage of the life cycle from infancy through childhood adolescence during the senior years for athletes uh, the works that there's you know, no life cycle category that they would not be appropriate for if they're appropriately planned. And that's the key. And that's you know, what my, my career has been about is to help people appropriately plan them because of course there are adequate and ina inadequate vegetarian diets. Does vegan ensure good nutrition? Absolutely, positively not. <laughs> not a chance. So when you think about it, potato chips are vegan, Coca-Cola is vegan or any other soda. Uh, you could be living on junk food. You could be eating white toast with margarine and jam for breakfast with you know, um, a soda and, and french fries with vegan gravy for lunch. You could be eating junk all day long and, and be in worse, sh much, much worse shape than, the, than an omnivore uh, eating even a semi-decent diet. So absolutely, positively not. They're, you know, at both ends of the extreme. So you've got sort of the, the folks that may say, well, all I care about is animal rights or the environment. My, I'm not that concerned about my health. I'll eat whatever. Well, there's concerns there about nutritional adequacy of the diet. And then on the other end of the spectrum, people that are really rigid, um, that, that, you know, it's, it's whole food plant-based, but that say, you know, want to be 100% natural, don't think we should need any kind of supplementation at all. They can end up B12 deficient, they can end up vitamin D deficient, they can end up iodine deficient, uh, they can end up with iron deficiency or, or even uh, zinc deficiency. And so the diet needs to be appropriately planned wherever on the spectrum you lie. So definitely being vegan uh, does not guarantee um, better health than an omnivore. But that having been said, we know that the average vegan is at some benefit compared to the average omnivore.